There are three main categories of treatment for children with cancer. Uh, the first is surgery, and surgery is used more often in solid tumors to remove um, the cancer uh, where it starts. Um, that is sometimes used in conjunction with radiation therapy, which is a way of using x-rays to kill cancer cells. And then we also often will give chemotherapy, uh, which is a way of using medications to kill cancer cells. The, um, the way that chemotherapy works is that it tends to target cells that are growing really quickly. And cancer cells tend to be growing the most quickly, and so that's why you know, it does kill the cancer cells. But it also kills some healthy cells in the body that are growing quickly as well. So that's why we see, for example, hair loss with much of our chemotherapy treatment. Uh, we also um, uh, can see sores in the mouth because the, the cells that line the mouth and the, and the whole gastrointestinal tract are also growing and regenerating quickly. So when we limit their growth, we can get sores in the mouth and through the, the GI tract. And then um, the other healthy cells that we tend to affect are the bone marrow cells, the cells that make the, the red blood cells that carry oxygen, the white blood cells that fight infections, and the platelets that, that form clots and, and stop bleeding. And so we temporarily affect those cells as well. And so that means that children who get chemotherapy may need some transfusions of red cells and platelets. And we don't have a, a good way to give people back white blood cells, so we have to wait for them to recover. But during that period of time where we're waiting for them to recover, the, um, the body is at higher risk for infection. So those are just general common side effects of chemotherapeutic agents. Uh, they also can cause nausea and um, different from, um, you know, 20 or 30 years ago, we now actually have terrific medications to fight nausea and so our goal is always to prevent it, but, um, but children can experience nausea with this as well. It's also important to remember that every cancer has a, has a different treatment plan and that needs to be um, thought through very carefully with the medical team and, and any one part of the treatment may have very specific side effects that I'm not mentioning, but, um, but those are the general kinds of things that we see.